Well, I'm so excited to welcome you to AP Calculus for the 2014-15 year. Woo! Let's hear it. All right. Well, I'm briefly going to go over a couple of things that I wanted to point out to you that might be different from other classes. I do expect you to read the entire thing, and then you will take the quiz on calculus. First thing is office hours. Um, be available. You do not need an appointment, um, but come on in. And I will either, generally, I am either in the classroom or you can find me in the math core room. So if I'm not in the classroom, please come to the core room because I just might be working at my desk there. Um, something to calendar. Please do this right now. Your AP test day is Cinco de Mayo 2015. Wow, that calls for a little party, doesn't it? So taking your test. Make sure, make sure you've got that on a calendar somewhere. Okay, um, next thing, just real quickly, we, I will be using the TI Inspire um, calculator in the class. Now, I recommend the CAS version with, for um, um, something like computerized algebraic system. Um, that's the one I recommend and use. And I will be modeling classroom instruction with the TI Inspire. Um, now, it is expected that you did successfully complete pre-calculus and have those foundational skills down as far as prerequisites. Okay, expectations. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, there are a few things as an honor student now in math that you do participate in. You participate in the AM competition, which is during the spring semester. Um, also, we um, a couple practice exams in preparation for the AP exam. Oh, this I didn't write in here. We also t participate. It's called CAMEL, California um, Academic, I think, or California Achievement. <laughs> Something like that, Mathematics League. And it happens about maybe once a month where you take about six questions that are very problem solve based and see how you do compared to local schools in our area. Um, prompt. My expectation for being prompt is that when we start class, you are ready to start. So that means you're in your chair, you've got your homework out, your previous night's homework, you've graded, corrected that homework, because generally I will assign the audience problems, and you're just ready to start, okay? Um, prepared. Um, each day, we will have a three-ring binder for this course, so you'll need to bring that binder. In that binder, you should have five labeled dividers, which I'll go over in just a minute what those should be. Make sure you bring your calculator every day, and um, you'll need both lined and graph paper. Your textbook, actually, I rarely use that in class. If I'm going to use it, I'll let you know. Um, I know some of you, though, like to have a book here, though, to be able to, during your open periods, get work done. So however you want to best manage that. Okay, so for your divider, three ring binder, these are the five labels that you will need. Um, I give out a lot of resources. resources. It's very important to be organized. So please get those five dividers in your labeled three ring binder. Um, let's see, other things that might be new to you is that um, homework is assigned on a basis. Okay, which you're probably used to in the, in the upper level math classes. Um, also, if you're present and you do not have your homework assignment, so it will be put in as a zero. You can make up the assignment as long as you do it prior to the day of that respective test. So, you were not able to do one homework assignment because of, you know, things. Um, as long as you get up and get it done before the chapter test, then I will accept it. Homework is worth five points, full credit. If you do turn in something late, then the most you can receive for that is three points. Okay? Um, let's see. Now, if it's an absence, excused absence, sickness, and such, and we'll clarify that a little bit later, um, what I do in the rule book is I just leave it as a dash mark, okay? And then you have an appropriate amount of time to make that up as um, delineated in the attendance policy. Okay, let's see, grading for this course. Um, again, grading, you know, it's probably very similar to previous. 50% is your test, 20% is quizzes and projects, homework, 10%, and then your finals are 20. Okay, here's the grading scale used by all departments. Okay, and let's see, if you have a 79.9, that does fall in as a C plus. Okay, so draw a line somewhere, and that's 
So you know it, so play, work it. Okay, attendance. Something just to clarify, make sure you understand my expectations and the differences between different types of absences. If you are going to be absent because of a school event, now this is generally an absence that you know about ahead of time. It's for a game, it's maybe a college visit, a leadership, a performance. What my expectation is, is to let me know at least a day in advance that you're going to be gone, and then the day you're going to be gone in the homework before the class you're missing. So in sixth period, sometimes the day you come by, show me that you got the homework done, and then make sure you find out what you will be needing to turn in for the following day, what you're going to be missing in class. You're expected to, to find that out and to keep up with the class, okay? Um, luckily, a lot of the lessons that I have for calculus, are, there are video, instructional videos, for them, so uh, it really helps in your absences and being staying caught up. Now, if it's an unplanned event, sickness, emergency, so forth. So the attendance policy says is you have one day to make up homework for each period missed. So if you're absent for a day, you have an extra day to make up that assignment. Okay, and anything long term, then of course we'll just um, deal with that as it comes up, and it'll be coordinated with the dean's office. One thing I forgot to in regard. To this school event when you know you're going to be absent if it's a test on that day you need to make sure that before you miss the test you schedule when your makeup will be don't come back and say oh I was gone no you need to schedule that before you leave okay now I think all of that makes sense if you have any questions please feel free to ask me now you're going to go to canvas and you're going to take a quiz on these items to make sure you understood everything and